Hi there! I'm Nicole Wilbur. I am a writer and story nerd and welcome to my channel. This video is all about my 16 most anticipated new releases in 2024 and I'm going to go through them in order and say a couple of words about why I am so excited for them. So let's jump into it. My first exciting release is The Breakup Tour, which is going to be published on January 23rd. This is about a singer-songwriter who writes breakup songs that get very popular <laughs> and sort of the concept reminds me a little bit of Taylor Swift and her ex-husband claims to be the subject of one but it was really an ex-boyfriend from her from, uh, from university and they go on tour together and I am super excited for this one because I love books about music I love books that are in that kind of like pop celebrity world and I think it's going to be a really fun romance Number two is Come and Get It by Carly Reed, who is the author of Such a Fun Age. This book is set in a dorm and it's about like a res, um, a res assistant, um, like a Don, that's what we called them, Dons. And <laughs> it is described as um, being full of odd new friends, vengeful dorm pranks, illicit entry, consumption, reckless abandon, about money, indiscretion, and bad behavior. And it just sounds amazing. I love Such a Fun Age and Come and Get It just looks awesome. Like so up my alley. I love anything set at a school pretty much. That's like my number one trope. The next one is The Women by Kristen Hanna. Now I love historical fiction, but I haven't actually read any Kristen Hanna, uh, which is weird. That one's coming out February 6th and it's about a young American woman who volunteers in Vietnam in the 1960s. It's very coming of age. I don't know much about the Vietnam War and I don't know very much about this author and so I think this is an awesome entry point and I'm so excited to read it. Number, we're gonna run out of numbers here real quick. I think that's number four is The Phoenix Crown by Kate Quinn and Janie Chang. I Read Everything by Kate Quinn. It's really cool that she's doing a collab. Um, this is coming out February 16th. Kate Quinn's books, um, The Rosie, no, The Rose Code is one of my all time favorite historical fiction books ever. And I'm just literally so excited um, to have another one of her books. The next one is called A Tempest of Tea. This one is coming out February 20th, and it's about a criminal mastermind and collector of secrets, but it's in a tea room that like transforms at night. And I love tea. I love bands of outcasts. I love infiltrating glittering societies. Um, there's a heist. And so I'm super excited. Um, it's described as dark, action-packed, conspiracy, through spoon-worthy. It sounds amazing. There's also vampires, and I usually don't like vampires, but I'm willing to overlook it for a good heist. <laughs> the next one is called Spy X Family or Spy Times Family. It's described as an action-packed comedy about a fake family that includes a spy, a an assassin, and a telepath. I'm trying to read more action adventure because A, I love to read them, and B, that's what I like to write, and I feel like I haven't read as many as I could um, that are like that action adventure contemporary action adventure. So this is going towards that reading goal. Um, it involves a museum field trip. There's activism going on here. I think this is a YA book too. So super excited for that one. The next one is Lies and Weddings by Kevin Kwan, who is the author, if you didn't know, of Crazy Rich Asians. Um, love Kevin Kwan. Crazy Rich Asians is an amazing trilogy. It is so funny. It does omniscient POV so well. If you haven't read it, you should. I have no idea what this book is about. It's just by Kevin Kwan, so it's an automatic on the list. The next one is The Pairing by Casey McQuiston. This one is coming out August 6th. And here is the description. This sounds amazing. This might be my most anticipated book of all. I'm like so excited. It is one in which two bisexual exes accidentally book the same European food and wine tour and then challenge each other to an international hookup competition to prove they're over each other. A, I love Casey McQuiston. Obviously, like Red, White, and Royal Blue is one of my favorite contemporary books. I did like One Last Stop and um, I Kissed Charlotte Wheeler, but like Red, White, and Royal Blue. So this is kind of going back into, I feel like Red, White, and Royal Blue world where like it's so much fun. They do humor amazingly. About a year ago, there were a lot of Gen Z TikTokers who were couples who broke up, who were like going on the same trip together. And that was very entertaining to me to watch. 
um, although those were real life people, so it was less entertaining, you know, you felt bad for them, but this is a book and it could just be entertaining and wonderful and exciting and I'm thrilled. <laughs> the next one is The Briar Club by Kate Quinn coming out July 9th, which means that was not in order, whatever. Um, it means that there's two Kate Quinn novels coming out in 2024, which is crazy. The Briar Club, I believe, is set in the 1950s, so it's post, um, it's post World War II. It is involves like a boarding house, I believe, and it's like multi POV, so it's in her specialty, and I am super excited for it. Next is Somewhere Beyond the Sea by T.J. Klune, which is the sequel that's been apparently long awaited to The House in the Cerulean Sea. I'm so excited for this. For this. I loved The House in the Cerulean Sea. It was such a beautiful book. This one's coming out in September. And I didn't, they didn't really leave a lot of open ends. Like I think it was meant to be a standalone, but because the book was so popular, they did a sequel and I'm here for it. The next one is Some Like It Cold, which is, I believe, a YA holiday rom-com coming out October 1st. I'm excited for this one mostly because the holiday rom-com is so big in adult right now, and I'm interested to see if and how this trend trickles into YA, and it's super exciting. Did I say Some Like It Hot? It's Some Like It Cold. Moving on. Um, the next one is Riot Act by Sarah Lerovier. And this one's coming out July 16th, which means this is in completely wrong order. Um, and this one is about um, like a dystopian society where America is ruled by these authoritarian regimes and these theater kids basically use theater and kind of like to rebel against it and sort of become like outlaws producing meaningful art. And it's about like doing as you're told and silencing your voice or like being true to yourself and expressive and being meaningful and rebelling and I'm so excited. Theater plus dystopian, ah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I mean, I hope it's gonna be great. I haven't read any of these by the way. They're just what I'm excited for. The next one is Nobody in Particular by Sophie Gonzalez, which is pitched as Young Royals meets Her Royal Highness. And it's a sapphic romance that follows an American born girl as she receives a scholarship to a prestigious college where she falls in love with a princess. Come on, that sounds amazing. I am so excited. The next one is Louder Than Words coming out June 4th, which means I did not put this list in order at all, but this is by Lexi Underwood and it's about a transfer student at a new school who has this dark past and she's like trying to fit in, but there's a gossip podcast that keeps like targeting students and taking them down and the podcaster like knows her secret and so she has to figure out who they are and stop them and it's giving me like hard gossip girl vibes but like probably a little bit like with a darker twist and i'm so excited for it and then the last one is The Devourer by Allison Ames, which is coming out October 1st, in which a young pirate captain hellbent on revenge crosses the sea in the company of her crew and a girl she hates but can't keep her eyes off of to find and kill her own brother, only to be waylaid by an eldritch creature looking for vengeance of her own. Does that not sound like so much fun, lesbian pirates? Amazing, who knew, perfect. That's exactly what I want in my October of this year. I almost said next year because we've only been in 2024 for two days. Anyways, that is my most anticipated releases of 2024 done very quickly and ratchetly. Let me know what books you are so excited to come out this year. Um, which of your favorite authors are publishing? What new releases have you heard a ton of buzz about? Are, do any of these tickle your fancy? Are you looking into any of them? Uh, do we have any overlap on our list? Let me know below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.